Hello everyone and I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to another fantasy match preview for the game between Sri Lanka and UAE. The second game for tomorrow is going to be played at Geelong and I have a lot of exciting information to share with you along with Nikhil Bhai who's going to help us delve into the game for tomorrow. How are you doing Nikhil Bhai? So far so good trying to cope up with the Jai Mata the tournament that has already begun how it should have. Uh, just tells you why. Maybe this year is great for Grand Leagues. I have made the food before, I'm going to make different combinations. Go with gut feel, go with data, logic. This year has been gone. So, whatever you feel, you do it. You don't have to do it. But invest smartly. If you don't go to any other team, you don't have to go to any other team. Keep this in mind. And of course, deposit leaderboard in front of you. Make use of the best possible opportunity to play on fan to play with multiple combinations. And you can obviously win these great rewards. Yes, absolutely. So this leaderboard is valid for all deposits from 17 to 21st, whatever deposits you make. And the best part is you can transparently see the ranking of the leaderboard. So example, if you go on the app on the left hand side, the updated section has a deposit investment leaderboard where you can see what is the highest amount. So you can make a deposit, whatever best deposit you can make as per your convenience. And then white vouch for one of these prizes, and then 22nd onwards is their main leaderboard, which where you can win the car and the other prizes. So you can use the same money in that leaderboard, and you also get to win a prize from this specific leaderboard. So I think it's a win-win situation both sides. So make best use of it. And on that note, we'll start with our preview. First up, we'll look at the ground dimensions and the situation on that perspective. Yes. So tomorrow's game again is back at Geelong and uh, Nikhil Bhai, what do you feel from day one at Geelong? Did you feel like there was any variable bounce in the pitch or do you feel like it was good to bat on? Uh, I felt it was slow right through. Uh, in both games you saw uh, run scoring wasn't that easy. Uh, even in the game that we saw in Hobart. I think we talked about that the first time we had batting in Australia and so far it has worked out very well. Uh, teams are not doing enough homework there and they just think it's chasing easy yoga. But if the ground conditions they are getting harder, so hmm. it won't be easy. And in Geelong, especially in the night game, we saw uh, Ruluf and others getting some spin. Pringle actually spun a ball literally a mile well up in that hmm. uh, sense. So maybe in the first game, you see more help for Pacers. But throughout the day, the deck starts to get a bit more dry in terms of more help for the uh, bowlers. So I think that will stay. Just like we said earlier, the power score will be 160 to 170. Even in the end of the warm-up game, they found a way to defend 187 just in the last two overs. 16 in 12, 9.5 times out of 10 will back the batting side. So it just tells you that there is enough help in decks and the grounds always help. But the dimensions are also important. Here we saw yesterday Sri Lanka got out trying to use the short boundary. That's what happens, you know, it is a double edged sword, so you have to use conditions well. Right, too many wickets fell to that specific short boundary yeah. and a lot of catching opportunities. So, yeah. let's look at what best team we can make for this yes. specific game. And uh, before we get to the team, do you feel like Sri Lanka is going to turn a corner or tomorrow is going to be a knockout shock for you? I don't think UAE should be the team that troubles them a lot more. Hmm. Uh, of course, they can do. I think Junet Siddiqui is in tremendous form. And uh, again, I'll say if uh, if Sri Lanka take them lightly, they're going to mm. be in for a surprise because they don't give up. We saw them not giving up against Netherlands for and a while. Really good game. Uh, yeah. mm. So uh, they will come hard, and which is how I want these teams to play. Play a fearless cricket. There is literally nothing to lose, mm. but so much to gain. Scotland is gain already. Uh, so by beating uh, West Indies as well. So. I think you. I think Sri Lanka might want to bat first, but I just feel that might bring UA into the game a bit more because mm. I feel their uh, bowling is their strongest. Would we discuss that in the very first game, and with the likes of Zaur Khan, Farid, and Junaid Siddiqui all bowling fine, uh, if they get early wickets, I, this game is going to be a very fun to watch. Right, fair enough. So, we have made a base team for you guys already so that we end up saving some time and discuss more key and important points as well. So, in the keeping, we have gone with Kusal Mendes. 
now uh, vritya arvind who was the nikhil bhai's punt pick for the first game batted quite decently is he a punt for you again in this game yeah i'll keep backing him right through uh, i think this tournament as i said two teams look to be the way to go uh, one might be the ultimate safe option and the other might hmm. be jay mata the going as per the tournament i think what the only thing that i'm worried about for ua in this game is the bowling of one into one kishina Hmm. I think these two can really trouble them a lot, and uh, which is why maybe I'm still very tempted to pick Arvind because he's going to be the keeper, and he'll give you some additional points from there. And uh, with the bat, if they bat second also, hopefully he can just play it the way that he did in the first game, because uh, from fantasy angle you want points, runs right. so thick, but that's impact. So that's the call that you have to take because of all the other batters, I think Wasim. And uh, Vritya Arvind are best suited. You have Chirag Suri opening, but hmm. we have made Dushman that's a mid our vice captain. So we definitely expect one early wicket to fall there. So then you have yeah. to space your uh, batters accordingly. Absolutely. In the batting, we have taken full advantage of the mm-hmm. fan to play advantage that we get to go with just two batters. So we have gone with only Vasim and Nisanka. Yeah. now many of you will have this question that if you're playing on other app who should be a third batter obviously rajapaksa is a decent option but if you look at the pattern of the first set of games in almost every game we've seen 8 9 10 wickets fall so do you want to take that chance of leaving one bowler to take that one batter who might not have as much impact is a call that i might not want to take and hence we have opted for the extra bowlers yeah and and it makes sense as well See, you can take the extra batter if he's in form, like a Suri Kumar Yadav or mm. a Josh Butler. Just take the guy and take the in form guy. But don't mm. take the third guy for the sake of it. And I'll say again, no rule is that if you have played one platform, you have to play all the three batters. You have to play all the games. You have to play all the board, but here you have to see which app you have to make the best team. Here you have to make the best team. Here you have to make the best team. इसलिए भी ये ट्राई एंड टेल यू कि भाई आप इस ऐप पे खेलो क्योंकि वो ऑप्शंस आपके पास होते हैं कि अभी इस मैच के लिए आपके पास और कोई बेटर ऑप्शन नहीं है राजा पक्षा की बैटिंग भी बहुत नीचे आती है इज बैटिंग एट 5 समटाइम्स 6 और वो आके शॉट्स लगा रहे हैं अगर चेस कर रहे हैं अगर आपको लगता है कि नहीं चेस कर लेगी श्रीलंका तो उसकी बैटिंग ही नहीं आनी चाहिए और आए तो भी 20 रन मारेगा तो वो 20 रन मारे आपको 25 26 पॉइंट दे उससे अच्छा आपको अगर एक बॉलर एक विकेट आपको 25 पॉइंट दे दे तो बोला के पास फिर भी एक्स्ट्रा ऑप्शन है कि भाई आपको दूसरा विकेट भी लेके दे सकता है तो अगेन यू कैन डेफिनेटली गो बाय व्हाट यू फील वर्क्स बेस्ट फॉर यू पर हमें ऐसा लगता है कि दो बैटर्स लेके भी आप अच्छे से फैंटेसी में रह सकते हैं बिल्कुल एंड उसके बाद बात करते हैं नाउ अबाउट आवर ऑलराउंडर्स सो फोर ऑलराउंडर्स हसरंगा हु विल कंटिन्यू टू बी कैप्टन फॉर अस ही विल प्ले इंपॉर्टेंट रोल फॉर देम जमीका करुणारत्ने हु कैन बोल एट द डेड टू and then your other two bowlers being basil hamid and kashif daud who can move the ball a bit up front uh, now uh, nikhil bhai one point here is kashif did not bowl too many overs in the last game so do you see him yeah. getting more opportunity because he batted decently uh, i think he was sent up to hit spin hmm. uh, so i'm very keen to see whether they do that again pehle bowling karte hain to main definitely kashif daud ko apni team mein rakhunga Hmm. पर अगर सेकंड बॉलिंग करना है तो आई माइट बी टेंपटेड टू टेक समबडी लाइक अ जहूर खान और और अ फरीद बिकॉज़ ही आल्सो बैट्स इन द मिडिल ओवर्स एंड मे बी दैट इज द वे यू कैन शेप योर टीम बट फर्स्ट बॉलिंग आई थिंक कैच ऑफ काशिफ दाउट माइट बॉल अ लॉट मोर ही इज गोइंग टू बी देयर फ्लोटर सो यू हैव टू यूज एंड सी हिम अकॉर्डिंगली राइट एब्सोल्युटली एंड देन द फोर बॉलर्स दैट वी हैव गॉन विद जुनेद सिद्दीकी मधुशन तीक्षणा एंड शमीरा हु इज आवर वाइस कैप्टन सो लाइक वी मेंशन वी डोंट वांट टू टेक अ चांस ऑन लीविंग अ श्रीलंकन बॉलर एंड देन देम कमिंग एंड स्पॉइलिंग योर पार्टी नाउ वन लास्ट ऑप्शन दैट यू हैव हियर निखिल भाई इज टू इवन स्लॉट इन धनंजय डिसिल्वा डू यू सी हिम मेकिंग योर टीम बिकॉज़ ही इज गोना बैट इन इंपॉर्टेंट पोजीशन ही वाज नॉट नीडेड विद द बॉल इन द फर्स्ट गेम बट डू यू सी दैट हैपनिंग टू If Sri Lanka bowl first, as I said, uh, I might take risk here and drop Kashif Dhawan. Hmm. Uh, what I do have to figure is then, if you go up, we still have only six guys from Sri Lanka, hmm. and then you have to take a call that okay, whether Chamika or no, seven. Whether, yeah, I mean the call is between Chamika and DDS then. Yeah. yeah. So hmm. whether you feel Chamika wicket dega, yeah, DDS hmm. bat karke aapko ek anchor wala knock kill ke runs dega. 
because he's someone who's very safe uh, doesn't take too many undue risks to score so hmm. that is the call that you have to take kyunki aap uae ke to itne player le sakte ho to but kashif dod ko main nikal ke yahan pe farid dal do kyunki hmm. i expect him to score some runs ya zahur khan and then one between chamika and uh, the dds you could hmm. also think about dropping nishanka but nishanka is a guy i hope he doesn't guy. take risk मेरे को वो पे एक प्रॉब्लम रहा है कि इवन इन द ऑस्ट्रेलियन सीरीज दैट वी सॉ सम व्हेन एवर ही गिव हिमसेल्फ टाइम तो वो बहुत अच्छा खिलाड़ी है ही कैन रियली प्ले अ वेरी गुड 40 30 40 नॉट आउट इजीली सो वो एक आई थिंक दैट्स अ कॉल दैट यू कैन टेक इन बिटवीन डीडीएस एंड नेसन का एंड चमिका बिकॉज़ अदर थ्री आई एम श्योर एवरीबॉडी इज गोइंग टू ब्रिंग right absolutely so that rounds up our team selection and yes a lot of calls that would be for you based on the toss so in, very important for you to look at the toss and the conditions finally and this is what our team setup is and uh, finally nikhil bhai uh, the one gl pick for you in this specific game that you feel will make impact or rather your dream team captain uh, i think this entire tournament has been such that uh, anybody can do that role uh but i think somebody like shana kapoor also really roll his arm over and also take wickets if he mm. feels uh spin is not doing the job so and back pay uh in the last game he came in and hit a few boundaries so he is mm. going to play impact roles only he is not going to come into bowl and over for three runs or four runs so it's going to be either one over eight runs and two wickets and a good 10 ball 20 25 So if Sri Lanka bat first, I might be tempted to take Shanaka, uh, and then I am hoping that he'll also do. Right, and my pick for this game, if Sri Lanka bat first, is Dhananjay De Silva. I feel like he, like Nikhil Bai mentioned, can bat very stably, so it makes it easier for you to have him in your team. And even if one bowler has a bad day, he'll come in and bowl one or two overs. So opportunity in both departments for him. So I guess these are our players to watch out for for this specific game. We hope you enjoyed this preview and have a great game and do share this content if you enjoyed it. All the good luck to all of you. Yes, thank you so much for watching guys. Happy winnings.